first. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office is actually investigating a shooting last night by a St. Petersburg police officer. The officer had been on the job for only three days, but does have several years of experience with another department. Now, the Uhuru movement in St. Petersburg says they are conducting its own investigation into the shooting because they don't trust the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office to release the real facts. Jeff Patterson joins us now live with more from the Pinellas County Jail. Jeff. Good evening, Jennifer and Stacy. 21-year-old Tori Barber has posted bond, but he is still in jail tonight waiting to be released. Sheriff Bob Galtieri says that Barber pointed a handgun at an officer last night and the officer shot him, but now the Uhuru movement is questioning that. St. Petersburg police say they were first called to the scene when people in the neighborhood reported a man shooting a firearm and walking around the street. When police arrived, Sheriff Bob Gualteri says 26-year-old officer Christian Collins and his field training officer found Barber, saw his weapon, and ordered him to drop it. Gualteri says Barber pointed his gun at Officer Collins, and Collins shot him. And the reason why he fired, and it appears now, rightfully so, is because the bad guy came up, so Barber comes up at low ready gun and points the gun at him. But at that point, he did what he had to do to protect himself. The Uhuru movement in St. Petersburg has a long history of challenging authority and the police department. Members now say they are launching their own investigation into the shooting because they don't believe the police version of events. The investigation uh, conducted by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department, an, an, an institution that has historically brutalized the black community, will not be the final word on this matter. St. Petersburg police tell us that Officer Collins had been on the job for only three days, but he had worked as a police officer in Philadelphia since 2018 before transferring and moving here to Florida to take a job with their department. Sheriff Gualteri says his department is now reviewing a number of videos, including dash camera videos and body camera videos from the St. Petersburg Police Department, as well as talking to witnesses to determine exactly what happened in that parking lot tonight. And while they're doing that, Officer Collins is on paid leave. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.